So, we got the footprints in. Just the impact driver is much quicker to nail it down. We got the rocks there. Okay. Level this up. We can pink down. And those where the foundation is, I couldn't get the spikes through. And we hard drive these things down away from the sprinkler heads. This is the footprint, and let's go ahead and put the other thing on top of it. Start with Giselle, first time. Open this up. Okay, let's carry over. This way is just to pull it off underneath of it. Make sure everything's clear. Roll to the side. Okay, nothing's in here. Put that aside for now. that out of the way okay so we have the rain fly I think put that right there and we have the spikes I think this is the the crappy spikes that everyone's talking about yep it is Okay. We have the guidelines. 
and we have the instruction and we have the shitty spikes so I have the place for the shitty spikes they will all go into my garden to hold the fence up that's what I'm gonna do with them okay now let's keep going So there's a, there's a master bedroom and there is a regular room. We might have to do this twice. Okay. Okay, so it looks like the two roofs. It's going this way. Let's go ahead and turn it. We're gonna have the master towards the back so let's just pop it up for the first time no questions okay this is the first person view of any of this video I just thought it would be nice to do a first person So I see people pop symmetrical. I just think it's easier. You just pop in in a series. Okay. I think that's it. Probably less than 30 seconds. Well, 19 seconds. So let's pull this across from the footprint. Pull this right across from the footprint. So the footprint should be smaller than the thing. First thing first, we need to find out which one is the master. Master bedroom. Keep in mind this is the first time. Okay, this is the first time ever this thing has been opened piece of paper put that aside it's a trash here okay first impression this is a very nice base okay so master bedroom should have more stuff so we have one two three one two three is six one one we have one on top of there we have one on top of there so we have basically what three two five eleven okay let's go ahead and see how many we have in here okay So we have almost exactly, oh no, actually, you see this, there's a less pocket here. There's less pockets here. So I would think this is the master people are referring to has the one with the more pocket on one side. I would argue use this as the living room because originally I was thinking, okay, if it's some type of hamper, we can use more stuff to hunt the clothes. But those can use as a living room to put cell phones. So I'm going to leave the exactly where it is. That's where it sleeps on the other side. And this is where the living room is. Okay, let's go ahead and remove this sucker. So, that, so this will be the sleeping quarter. We'll leave exactly where it is and zip this back down for now. Okay. Let's go ahead. And 
I'm not sure what's happening here. I think it'd be easier just to roll on top and figure out that's where the that's where the deer head is, the Giselle head is. Okay, I see what's happening. It's the way they fold it. Let's unfold this thing. going quickly let's clip this guy down and let's go ahead and pop the inside Okay, I think we're done. We need to tighten those up and we're good. At the moment, I think I'm going to tie this up real quick. Nah, never mind, don't worry about it. Yeah, and the Giselle is up. Let's go ahead and do this guy. Well, in a minute. Try this thing to this. Let's open the windows.
Okay, finally done. I'm not gonna do the front and the back because I don't have a way to mount it. So, one way I could do is to lock this in so it doesn't pop. Currently, again, I don't have a way to mount it. Whoa. Yeah, so if it pops in, it pops in. But the rest of it, we got two poles out there, create awning. We got a center pole to tie the middle part up. Let's see, let's tie it a little tighter. And we got all the anchors down. It takes about two hours to set it up. Next time should be a lot quicker because I don't have to make new lines. Okay. And let's go check out inside after it's all stretched. It's looking pretty good. Once all stretched. Yeah. So the space is fairly large. We have a hamper up here. And we have those, those, we have this, this guy's right here. That's really cool. Oh, look at that. How's that happen? All right. So I think we're good. Going to put the floors in here later. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so we tie this up. The water is gonna shed off here. And what I'm gonna do next is going to put a camouflage on it. Block out the heat, quite a bit of heat in here. Okay. Okay, this is the final setup. We have the camouflage. It can go either way, 116, 113. So if I go the other way, my cover front to end, but this actually holds on all sides. Take down a little bit more orange and block out some sun. See if I can. Yeah, she creates a little more shading on this end. And coming through. Should work out pretty well when we're out and about. And this is the military one with the net behind it. So you're not hooking on the actual camouflage. You're hooking on the net and it comes with a rope. So you're not really hooking on any rope, any thing but the anchor point good let's see how the inside look with this oh, oh shit. that's pretty good look at that look at that on top hey about tonight so that should provide additional covering for the sun. I see a few people done this for their tent. Uh, the people who hunt a lot or camp out a lot in the desert. It really helps to uh, block out a lot of heat. Very good, and it looks really cool too. I think that's it for today. 